I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. I hope you are feeling all right wherever you are, my dear friends. We are back with another news. Yes, with another news and we'll never stop talking about this club until something is fixed, right? We will never stop. I will never, ever, ever stop. <laughs> I will keep talking and talking and talking until we see some changes. You know, as everyone is doing, they keep talking, so I will continue. So, let's start with Chelsea news. We got another big news about Manchester United, right? Yeah, but let's begin. Confirm, Christopher Nkunku is likely to be in the Chelsea squad to face Sheffield United on Saturday. So the match preview is going to be tomorrow. Keep your eyes open. The match preview will be airy posting. I'll post in airy this time. I'm off tomorrow. I'm not busy, you know. I'm fixing the house. It's just crazy. That is why I'm posting late videos. But I'll get back to my time like I do always. So. Christopher Nkunku looks more likely. We heard about this three, four days ago about Christopher Nkunku looks more likely to face Everton and then we we watched Manish Politi in a conference, press conference, he said no, he's not ready. We you know we are checking on that with doctors and to see if he's ready somewhere, somewhere, plus plus, you know, equals minus eight, something like that. He was not. Well, this time, let's see what's going to happen. And the other thing is, Chelsea, they're focusing more on Christopher Nkunku. It's not good for him, you know? It's not good for him to focus on one guy thinking he's going to bring, you know, success. He's going to bring <laughs> glory. He's going to bring something magical. He's not real Messi. I don't think he's that guy. He's not Cristiano Ronaldo, so... That is not good to put pressure on him. Yes, he's one of the senior we have at the moment. Two, no, three. We have three. Thiago Silva, Dahim Sterling, and Christopher Nkunku. Those are seniors we have. It's crazy to say that, but it is what it is. If he comes back, that will be good. But I'm not expecting him to put impact right away, to start scoring goals. Look, he's been injured for a long time. For a long time. So, he may lose his space. He may lose that. So, we have to be patient with him. You know? As far as I know, fans... Chelsea fans, we are not patient. We are not. But we got good reason not to be patient, you know? We got good reason. You can go back 20 years later up to now and then, yeah, you see. <laughs> we got good reason. So that I will understand. So let me note down about Nkunku Christopher. Let's go to another one. Here it is. Mauricio Pochettino will have no increased power in the transfer market. Only input Chelsea business will be run by the sporting directors and supported by the owners. Of course, this is not new. <laughs> of course, you know. These guys, they took away power from Mauricio Pochettino. Maybe it's Mauricio Pochettino, you know. What I mean is, I saw something yesterday. No, no, no. Three weeks ago, I saw I saw something about Pochettino. It's not that guy. It's not that guy, you know, takes that courage, that power. It's like, okay, I need that prayer. I need that one. Get him now for me. He's not that guy, you know. He's that guy who can who just say, uh, okay, that, yeah, that would be a good player if you can get him and he back off just like that. He's that guy. And we don't need that kind of manager. If you have that manager, then you are just in danger. You are just in danger. <laughs> this is what I'm looking and this is what I heard about Pochettino. So, pff, yeah, no power in the transfer market. What does that mean? All the power is on the directors and the owner and they're going to choose anyone they want. And we know exactly what this owner, this directors we have, it's crazy. I did not think we're going to have directors who think this way. You know, listening to the owner. Of course, you can listen to the owner, but you are the, di you are the directors. You know quality. You know if we get experience in the team, this and this and this and this and this will change forever. 
We have to have directors. If the owner speaks, okay, we need a 24 years old, we need a 21 year old, or we need Hendrik, Hendrik, something like that. We, but we didn't, we didn't buy him, you know, from uh, Brazil. He went to Real Madrid. Almost he came to Chelsea. So yeah, something like that. We need that. We need that. We need somebody to say no. You know, not everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I salute you, sir. No, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. But I know. My experience with North American jobs, <laughs> you know, I know exactly what it is. So yeah, I'm not gonna continue about that. I can go on and on and on and continue about managers, you know, in North America and the jobs. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't go with that. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment what do you think about that my youtube Latino, no power in the transfer market and the sticky stacky as i said yesterday guys we are in this together we'll finish this together and yeah we'll see something change by the end hope free hope free that yes so let's go to another grand porter <laughs> i was like wow this is music into my ears. Check out this. Graham Porter is a candidate to replace Eric Ten Hag as Manchester United manager. We continue. Sir Jim Latcliffe has already made with Graham Porter about replacing Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United. Radcliffe favored him as the new boss at Old Trafford if he sacks Eric Ten Hag. If he sucks, Helic 10. You can even dance that, you know? <laughs> it's so crazy, man. I have to laugh. Look, I have to laugh. In this type of moment, in this situation, in this environment, in this atmosphere, where there is absolutely catastrophe, <laughs> where there is absolutely shenanigans, calamity everywhere, just laugh, you know? <laughs> And keep dancing. It is what it is. You know, I cannot be upset anymore. I just can't. I have to take care of my healthy issues. <laughs> you know, I don't have healthy issues, but when you get upset too much, your blood pressure goes high and it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> so, every 10 hack, I think you'll get sack. I think you'll get that sack. It's coming. It's really, really coming. I see that. And Graham Porter is on the line. <laughs> He's on the line. I understand what Manchester United fans are feeling right now. You know, I understand that pain. Completely understand. You know, right now, they are our brothers in this situation. <laughs> Manchester United, they are our brother. We are in the similar situation. Of course, it's not the same, but very, very similar. You know, where we are going and yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the year 2023 to 2024. Oh wow, unbelievable. So, look, I'm saying all this stuff, right? I can rough here, Eric Ten Hag, we're gonna get sacked and they're gonna get ground port at Manchester United. Look, things can change. You never know. You just never know. Things can change. He <laughs> may go to Manchester United and Manchester United start winning and they are up there in top three, top two. You just never know. And everybody, they're like, what happened? You know, <laughs> it is crazy. This is how football is. Football works just different. And I like it, especially in the Premier League. It's just fantastic league in the world. <laughs> so let's see what is gonna happen. If Eric Ten Hag will get out of that job, we will see. Let me know down in the comment what do you think about that let's go to another one on newcastle united newcastle yesterday got beaten <laughs> out of the champions league and i've seen so many people talking oh newcastle they're in trouble blah blah they're not in trouble you know this is their first experience in the champions league i hope i'm not wrong maybe they were in the champions league in 50s in 40s i was not born yeah, maybe, <laughs> but 
This is my first thing to see Newcastle in the Champions League. So let's see what's going on. Here it is. Newcastle season in danger of unveiling as pressure. Mount after European exit. Harry Howe needs to win League Cup with the final against Chelsea. As I said, I don't think Newcastle they're in trouble too much. They have a chance to win against Chelsea in that uh, League Cup quarterfinal. <laughs> they have a chance. Let's see what's gonna happen. And yeah, yeah, we'll give them that cup. I think we will, because we are Chelsea at the moment. We just give everything, you know? <laughs> we just give whoever wants some, uh, you know, meat, some potatoes. If you want some uh, rice, come get it. We are Chelsea, we'll give it to you. <laughs> it is what it is anyway. I will see you soon. I will see you soon. As I said, you just have to laugh and enjoy your environment wherever you are and take a nice, you know, uh, cold water and enjoy. Everything will be nice. Yeah, I will see you soon. Subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss all the sweet dreams. I will keep talking. <laughs> I won't stop talking. I will keep, keep, keep going. Moving forward, never going back. Never going back. As I encourage you, area on, keep going. Even if things are tough, I know life gets tough, you know, not sometimes, all the time. You know, you don't get lucky all the time. I won't say lucky, you don't get blessings all the time, right? But, moment like this, situation, you know, looks like everything is just not working. That's a moment I think the Lord is very close to you to tell you, my son, my daughter, don't worry, everything will be all right. God bless.